Yo, what is up, haters? Welcome to an Orange Leader 398 video. Now, recently in the guild, there have been a lot of questions about C, Sith Eternal, my good old buddy, my one GL that I currently have. So I decide, you know what? I'm going to start building like a little library of uh, different battles I do with it, uh, whether it be through Territory Wars, uh, maybe you want to see how he does in territory battles, kind of advice to use him. Hopefully this is a spot where you guys can come, look, watch, see what I do. I'll talk a little bit about the strategy, and we'll kind of go from there. And, you know, if there's ways to build on it, advice through uh, guild leaders on about the video. I'm kind of hoping this is a good baseline, so that way as new people unlock them, they can just kind of watch these videos and be like, oh, I can use them to beat this. Or, hey, he's really good against these guys. Or, hey, this is a unique team. Let's see if we can beat the new GL that's going to come out, Lord Vader. You never know. But I did let myself drop an arena for a little bit. Uh, that way I could get some good mixed teams in here. So we're going to start off with the standard uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren with crew, with uh, the trooper, the Sith trooper, as well as General Hux. So we will start with them. Now for my lineup, uh, personally, let me go ahead and fix this here. Where is he? This is usually the team I like to run when it comes to using my Sith Eternal. I know Gideon has kind of been nerfed a little bit in the most recent update, but I'm still realizing that he is still good with reducing the damage of the supporting cast. Does not reduce the GL's damage anymore, uh, so it doesn't really nerf Rey's Whirlwind or her ultimate anymore, but all the supporting cast, he still reduces their damage. So... Uh, Whenever people are called to assist, as long as Moff Gideon is alive and had gone first, he will reduce everyone else's damage. So hopefully that will kind of help uh, neutralize that Sith Empire, or that Sith Trooper, the red guy. So, uh, let's go ahead and run this. Now starting off in this battle... Anytime you have Watt, you want to give this middle ability, you want to give that to our good friend, Sith Eternal. Watt, you have done your duty, and he actually survived, which this is very important, because by him surviving and dropping to the percent threshold for health-wise, I like to say just going into the red, he gave armor the third stack of ingots that it needed. So really quickly here, we're going to get that to uh, our buddy Sith Eternal. But first, we need to link up two characters. I personally like to link up the First Order Stormtrooper. And I like to link up on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Now a lot of people will do crew Kylo Ren Unmasked with the first one. But I feel a lot of times... Stormtrooper will drop his taunt and crew will keep his and if we kill off crew too fast we do not end up actually getting uh, what we need which is for them to attack and to get the ultimate so we have gotten our demoralize on everyone except for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren which is great we are now going to give the stacks of armor to Sith Eternal. He's going to get a turn. Let's go ahead and open up those floodgates. Kind of get some health back on some of them. Get them to survive a little longer if possible. But if not, that's alright. We have ourselves set up for success. Now you might be thinking, oh great, five on one. Is this supposed to happen? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> as counterintuitive as it sounds, this is supposed to happen. So, let's 
so what's really nice is with the three Beskar ingots, he is counterattacking every chance he gets. He's provoking turns of attack, reducing crew here, so that way when it comes time, we can just annihilate him with our ultimate. So we're going to pop our ultimate now. No need to really wait or push our luck. And this is one of those things too where having a dual taunt kind of does spread that uh, damage a little bit, which is kind of nice for C. All right, we're going to go ahead and just eliminate some. It's really nice. Counterattacks. I might just knock them out with the counterattacks. There we go. All right, and just like that, not a worry in the world. C taking down Kylo Ren. So, let's go ahead and real quick, just do a little uh, stat check so that way you guys can see if you are using him, uh, what I kind of ran with him. So when it came to C, uh, a lot of health and a lot of protection. He already has a really high health pool as is, which helps his survivability. Uh, speed isn't too important. I definitely get some speed on him, but uh, I mean, 474, it gets the job done. Uh, sometimes him being too fast is actually counterintuitive. Uh, definitely got that potency. His is already skyrocket because I mean he's he's a GL and so that health steal is very nice let's check out our supporting cast what um, I mean if you can make him healthy to take a hit and survive that's great uh, but his main job is getting that initial tech on C anything after that in my opinion is a nice little bonus not necessary but it's a nice little bonus. Then we have the armor. Armor. Fast and sturdy. Uh, don't care about the damage. Give it as much survivability as possible and as much speed as possible. I got my armor at a 335. A ton of health. Good amount of protection. Uh, tenacity is huge. If you can get its tenacity up, do so as well as a bonus, just so that way you can avoid being stunned and ability blocked and other things like that. Uh, Gideon, uh, speed. Speed, speed, speed. Uh, he's a 333 for me, so two points slower than my armor, but he's going to get the job done. He's going to put the uh, offense down and whatnot on the other supporting cast of the GL weaken their hits so you want him going early so that way uh, he can reduce the damage that you take increase your own survivability and then last but not least Malak I mean what Sith Eternal team wouldn't be good without a Malak do note that mine is only a relic too so it could definitely be a lot tankier than it is. Uh, I went a lot of protection because it does convert into health. Uh, my Malak is kind of slow. I'll probably eventually pick up the uh, speed a little bit as I kind of work on my modding a little bit. But I mean, he's just kind of there to uh, be an annoyance. Uh, you know. If you can get a couple turns with him in using his drain life, uh, you're buying Sith Eternal as much time as he needs to go ahead and get that uh, victory. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first video. It is definitely the first of many. Uh, next up, I'm hoping to show off a ray, or maybe I'll find a different variant of uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Don't think I'll find a General Kenobi this low down, but we'll see what's out there, and I will keep making these so that way we have a nice little library of uh, how to use Sith Eternal and kind of some strats with him in battles. Hope you enjoyed. 
See you later, haters.